Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be bringing down JC Jackson and what he brings to the table. Before we start though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So JC Jackson is a fantastic football player. Like he is insanely talented defensively 45 solo tackles last year 98 targets the fourth most in the nfl 50 receptions allowed tied for 26th most in the nfl and had the second most interceptions uh in the league behind only obviously the cowboys corner himself trayvon diggs eight interceptions for him last year 82.7 pff player grade and that just followed up a season the year before where he had nine interceptions which was second in the league behind none other than Xavier howard uh, five interceptions the year before that. I mean, this guy's had 22 interceptions over the past three seasons. He is a ball hawking machine. Um, he's, I mean, he's he's fantastic. Let's dive into what makes him so great. Sticky man coverage. We'll get all into that film session right here, right now. Let's dive right into it. So not only is he always, you know, lined up one on one on the outside with, you know, the other team's best corner, right? That's why he's a corner. Uh, the other team's best receiver. Excuse me. That's why he's the cornerback one. Um, you know or he was last year uh, with, with the Patriots. I mean, that's why he's the guy. Um, but more importantly, the reason he is so fantastic um, is because he shuts them down constantly, right? That's what happens. And you're going to see him do that right here on this play. You're going to see him in man coverage. That's his specialty right here on the outside, bottom of your screen. And Zach was just going to try and float this ball up to that receiver it's not going to work out. Number one, just look at how he deals with this this break here, forcing this receiver to the outside, doing a really good job with his body right there, uh, just in, in, in constant control um, of the situation. And then as Wilson feels the pressure, gets rid of the ball, not a good, not a well-thrown ball. But more importantly, just look at where, you know, J.C. Jackson is compared to the receiver. The receiver has outrun the route, and J.C. Jackson is has the ability to come back to the football and high point this ball, catch it up there, um, and secure ball, get two feet in, inbound. Sometimes I'm, I think he's a receiver and not a corner, just with how good his 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 ball skills are. Um, but he's got that instinct to be around the football, and he knows when to go out and get the football. That's one of those plays here. But I really like also his ability to stay in in, in pretty hard man coverage and not really give up that much space off the top of the break of the route. In press man coverage here, does not give a lot of separation. And then at the back end of the play, is able to come back to the football. Um, and make the interception. Really nice play there by J.C. Jackson. At the end of the day, the hallmark of a good corner is they have instincts, and, and J.C. Jackson really has great instincts. Once again, match up one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and you're going to see him here, once again, not give up a lot of separation at the top of the route, at the break of the route. J uh, Zach Wilson, uh, excuse me, that's not Zach Wilson, that's Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco wants to get rid of this football, is able to get rid of the football, but then, once again, just look at how sticky um, J.C. Jackson is in main coverage, right? Joe, Joe Flacco is really trying to throw this ball towards the outside uh, by the sideline, but J.C. Jackson, once again, he's really he's in a perfect position every time, right on the hip of the the, the, the wide receiver in a really good spot. Um, and what he's able to do is he's able to just go downhill on this football. And I talk about this a lot with corners, either downhill tacklers, sometimes with running backs, I'll talk about downhill runners if you've seen my film sessions. Um, but more importantly, J.C. Jackson is a downhill player. He gets downhill to the football, um, and he's got that nose and instinct for the football is able to reach out, grab it because he's got those instincts, right? He's reading the quarterback the entire time. Look, look at where he's looking. He's looking at the football, looking at the quarterback, and he doesn't give up a lot of separation in open space. Really fantastic job. Once again, here by JC Jackson, getting the two feet in bounds um, and just causing havoc on the defensive end. And I'll be totally honest. This is not a well-thrown ball by Sam Darnold by any measures, but nonetheless, it still just goes to show the same kind of points of, of JC Jackson just being, fantastic you know and always being around the football and making the right plays and just doing what he needs to do best so what's going to happen here is Sam Darnold's going to feel the pressure really good job by Matt Judon and and just the pass rush here forcing out Darnold to to the left and as Darnold steps up sees DJ Moore downfield and just floats one up and you know what at the end of the day this isn't that impressive of an interception but it's more the same thing where JC Jackson is always around the football I mean this guy is constantly targeted and at the end of the day he doesn't fail, right? He doesn't. He goes up, grabs the football once again here, uh, you know, protects it, catches it, out muscles a receiver for it, right? And is just so, he's just, if the football's in the air and it's near him, I'd put more money on him, you know, 
hauling it down than, than the wide receiver if it's a 50-50 ball. And this is a 50-50 ball that's short, it's underthrown. And what does J.C. Jackson do? He comes away with it. I mean, that's what he does. Like, that's that, that's his game. Um, so he's gonna he's a turnover machine. That's that's what he is. But at the same time, he's opportunistic and he's got some speed. Once again, not a great throw. It's just him kind of in the right place at the right time, but he's opportunistic with it. Uh, Matt Ryan, high throw for his receiver. What's what's J.C. Jackson going to do it? He's going to take it off the hands of the receiver, uh, off the tip, um, and he is going to go the other way for a score. And that's kind of just the opportunistic nature of J.C. Jackson. I mean, that's kind of what he does, right? This ball isn't well thrown. It's high, tipped off the hands. Who's there? It's going to be J.C. Jackson because he's a turnover magnet, right? Uh, he's not just a turnover machine. He's a turnover magnet. And he goes the other way for the score, just showing that opportunistic nature. Love the swag at the end. Little little bit of a taunting here, which probably got called in the game. But nonetheless, I just love I love how he plays the game of football. I mean, he's tight in man coverage, gets away from pressure, um, and that's really that. I mean, does his job fantastically. Like, uh, is able to just lock down team's best receivers, be opportunistic, have that killer instinct, and is, is a downhill player, right? Gets from 0 to 60 quickly and, and takes it in for the score here. And this is another, you know, play where J.C. Jackson simply is a turnover machine. He's a turnover magnet. You're going to see him in one-on-one -on -one coverage over here to the outside of your screen. And the receiver here is going to kind of run this route here, trying to get a little separation on Jackson. Jackson's just going to stay with him and then basically beat the receiver to the football, right? So you just see how really Jackson doesn't give any separation away. And Trevor Lawrence on the second and sixth play, he knows he wants this receiver. It's where he was going the entire time. And what's JC Jackson going to do? Gives him zero space to throw this football. And Trevor Lawrence fits this one in somehow and, you know, doesn't do a good job of it because he throws it. And JC Jackson, of course, being there and being tight man covered, simply just undercuts it, breaks it up, and, and causes the interception. And this game was ugly for the Jaguars. But nonetheless, I mean, this is a play where J.C. Jackson doesn't give any space. This is a play where Trevor Lawrence really has nowhere to throw this football. There's nowhere he can throw the football. Honestly, where he should be throwing the football is over the top here of the defense um, to, to this guy over here running on the sideline. That's where the football should go. But at the end of the day, um, you know, that's not where it goes. And it goes into the arms of J.C. Jackson because of his ability to be sticky main coverage and get to footballs. He's got that football instinct. He's got that instinct to get to the ball. Um, and that's what he does here against Trevor Lawrence. So let's talk about how he fits in with the Chargers. And this is just the Chargers continuing to make, you know, these moves to get better on the defense side of the football. I mean, they brought in Khalil Mack a couple days ago. Now they have J.C. Jackson. They still have Derwin James and Joey Bosa. I mean, this defense is really, really good. And what J.C. Jackson does is legitimately makes this uh, this this secondary into an elite secondary. They've got Asante Samuel, who's actually pretty good. Um, not a name that's talked about enough in the NFL uh, at, at, at the, the cornerback position for the Chargers. But more importantly, now you get a guy who had eight interceptions last year. And the Chargers uh, 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 cornerbacks last year had all combined seven picks. So you get a guy who's automatically doubling your, your interception total. He's a guy who's a turnover machine. He's going to bring the energy. He's going to lock up man on man against the best receiver game in and game out. And just think about who they're playing week in and week out. They're playing against the Chiefs twice a year. They're playing against the Raiders who have uh, not necessarily the best receivers, but like Hunter Renfro, Hunter, Hunter Renfro is pretty good. Um, and then the Broncos who have Jerry Judy, right? These teams have good receivers, especially Tyree kill and, and, and the chiefs. Um, and you need a legit number one lockdown corner to combat that. Now you have an elite defense with guys like Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa. You now you have J.C. Jackson. Like it's a five-year, eighty-two million dollar deal. I think how much? Yeah, five-year, eighty-two and a half million dollar deal. I mean, this is big stuff. Um, at the end of the day, for for this Chargers team. So I'm really excited to to, to watch J.C. J.C. Jackson and the Chargers. I think he fits in perfectly as a man coverage corner, giving uh you know the Chargers an elite corner to really build your defense around. And really, your back end is is, is ridiculous now. Derwin James, if he can stay healthy, you've got uh, J.C. Jackson, you've got Asante Samuel, you've got the pass rushers up front. This Chargers defense is getting scared and I really like them getting J.C. Jackson. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.